Yo, what's good? It's your boy, B-Dale. If you're new to this channel, hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. In today's demonstration, I'm going to be breaking down the complexities of the cosmic prophecies that's connected to the essential process of the spiritual body, which works in synergy with the spiritual evolution of the planet. So with that being said, it's a lot of information we're going over once again, because everything is esoterically connected, right? So first, we're going to start out with the mass destruction that happened in Morocco, that earthquake, right? One thing I need you to understand is that when it comes to earthquakes and things of that nature, you know, that is a, a form of acute cosmic radiation that is coming down from the magnetosphere, which is the fifth dimension that operates on coils of ethereal energy, right? Because that cosmic radiation in itself is putting the planet right back in balancement. Because back in during the uh, during the inception point when the planet was destroyed, the planet got knocked off its axis by 23 degrees, which threw off the spiritual equilibrium of the planet. Now, what you got to understand is, is that physical destruction is facilitated by spiritual energy that's transmuted from the cosmos. So stuff like this happens when you understand the reciprocation process of the energy of karma, right? So you had 21,000 people killed by earthquake in Morocco, right? So now what you got to understand is that the spiritual sun, we've been cut off from it, but the spiritual sun is in outer space. When you look at the top right here, it's the magnetosphere. So when you have an earthquake, what does it tell you? It tells you it's a magnitude of 6.8, 7.1, 5.5. So that magnitude energy is an acute cosmic radiation that's streaming down from the uh, fourth and the fifth dimension that's outside the fermented dome of the quarantine zone, right? Because the the magnetosphere is basically the foundation of the spiritual and the galactical zone of the most high. So when you have that magnetosphere, that those new energies coming in, that ethereal energy, that is basically a, a transmutation process of power, right? Because the spiritual sun is the foundation of a matriarch. It's a foundation of a matriarchal energy that's connected to nature, as I said before. So now, you got the exosphere, the thermosphere, the mesosphere, stratosphere, and the trophosphere, right? So that is basically the Earth zone when you're talking about the Milky Way galaxy and things of that nature. So all these energies that's coming in is coming down from the higher dimensions, right? Because it's operating on gamma radiation. Gamma radiation, that's the God frequency, right? So now let's get into uh, the esoteric complexities of what's taking place when it's basically in alignment to the context of history when you do your scholarship, right? So now when we get into ancient occultism, the opposite of the god Baphomet, known as the Gold Mendes, the symbol of the devil, Baphomet, which is equivalent to the number 35. Now, Morocco sits on the 35th parallel when you're looking at the Earth zone, right? So it's not a coincidence that Baphomet is connected to Maphomet, which comes from Mohammedism right, which comes from the Blackamoors, because they taught that edification to the Knights of Templars, who are the ones who took you away from your birthright when they came and basically facilitated and colonized the landmass with a uh, monotheistic religion, right? So when you're looking at this, the number of the Bafmi is equivalent and equates to the number 35, to where you get the number eight, which is the infinity symbol, meaning that you're stuck in the time loop to where you can't think outside the box because 
the energy of Baphomet is connected to Mahomet, Mohammedism. That is a form of uh, the veneration of the cube of Saturn, right? When you're talking about these religious systems. So Baphomet is connected to the number 35, right? Which is why Turkey, one thing you got to understand is, is that it's all connected. Morocco and Turkey are basically uh, foundations of civilizations that have a veneration for Islamism, right? Because it's not a coincidence when you look at the flag and when you look at the uh, when you look at the flag of Turkey, that is a veneration of the star Shesky, which is connected to Baphomet, right? So now when we get into the etymology of the words, right? Hey, lab, which means the crescent of the moon, the crescent of the moon, which is Diana, who is basically the symbol of sin, right? To where you're born in sin, you're born in the matrix because the Babylonians call the moon sin, which is the moon Shesky, which is connected to Baphomet, which is Mahomet, Muhammad, which is the five point star interlocking, amalgamating with the, uh, the crescent moon, right? Which is the foundation of the false light, right? So what I'm saying is, is that what you got going on that's taking place right now is a form of karma, right? So it's not a coincidence that during that time period in Turkey, you have 50,000 deaths. Then you got 2,000 deaths over in uh, Morocco, which is not a coincidence. So this is all connected, right? Because the religion is what took you out of your sovereign capacity. So now what you got to understand is, is that the earth also has chakra points. It has a chakra system. So when you have ether copulating with the seven, seven noble gases, which is carbon, lithium, sulfur, helium, hydrogen, exon, radon, argon, and krypton. So when you have the ethereal energy copulating with the seven noble gases of ether, what happens is it sparks creation, it sparks alignment, and it sparks destruction, right? Depending on what frequency the planet is on. So the sun in itself is a, um, as a form of physical immortality, just such as Earth. So in that self, it means that everything on the planet is operating on waves of vibration of uh, spiritual energy and consciousness, right? So Mother Nature in itself is a living organism. It's a living entity, right? So this is where uh, the cosmic pendulum comes into play when you're talking about the laws of cause and effect that's connected to karma, the karma energy. So the reciprocation process, the energy that you put into the universe is going to have to come right back, right? Because that is basically the creation of the swing of the cosmic pendulum that operates on the polarity of positive and ne negative frequencies, right? So that's why everything, you know, in the, uh, everything operates on magnetism, magnitude. You have the earthquake magnetism streaming down from the magnetosphere everything that's coming down from the cosmos is a form of magnetism right so what happened in morocco what happened in turkey when you have all these signs on, and, and things of that nature on the planet this is a form of judgment it's a form of karma everything is operating from a cosmic cycle meaning that the formation and the revelation in itself is connected to Re reformation the reformation is the revitalization process that put the planet back into its spiritual equilibrium right which is basically uh the subordinate energy of eternal life as you have the dematerialization of the third dimension right so that's why it tells you right here verbatim in revelations 22 13 i am alpha and omega beginning and end right so the energy that you put out in the beginning colonization uh, wars, theocracy, uh, that energy is coming right back, but it's going to be facilitated by nature. It's going to be facilitated by the energy that's coming from the fifth dimension that's outside the fermented dome. So karma is a universal law of cause and effect, provides the soul and the opportunities for the physical and mental and spiritual growth of beings on this planet. So when you subjugate that energy, that energy that you subjugate it, it has to return. It has to return to reverse the polarity of the sleep spell that you put on humanity, right? So that's when you look at the keys of Enoch, right? So these are the signs that you got to look for. It tells you all throughout uh, ancient monotheistic uh, teachings 
And when you're looking at these publications in the Bible, right? Because I told you the Bible is a Freemasonic playbook of what is to come in the future, right? Because it's basically projecting the end of their system. You're going to have signs of a great earthquakes, right? Every mountain, island will move out of its place. So when you're talking about a pole shift, you're going to have the shifting of land masses. You're going to have land masses that uh, basically broke off. They're basically, basically going to be copulating back together. Then you got blood and fire and pillars of smoke will be seen. So the sun and the moon starts and will have their light block, making them appear as dark as night. So that goes into alignment that the fact that the, the sun and the moon that you've seen in the quarantine zone in our in our uh in the third dimension is basically operating on fractions of light a cymatic frequency that's coming from the star polaris that's outside the fermented dome so the sun and the moon are basically uh buffer zones for what is to come in the future right the moon will appear as blood red the stars in the heavens will uh will appear to be falling to the earth and the sky will be seen receding like scroll when it's rolled up now we're going to get into some videos because we're going to come right back to that, right? Because I told you, when you understand uh, what happened on planet Mars, planet Mars is basically um, is basically the foundation of an atmosphere that contains iron oxide. Because when you see red iron oxide dust right here, that is basically a facilitation process to implement a spiritual war. Because Mars, when you look at the word backwards, it means wars. So the war right now that's going on on the planet that's being activated by nature is a spiritual war. So this is World War III. Three is the third dimension. That means that the energy from the cosmos is going war with the uh, going to war with the third dimension to put everything back into its eternal place. So this isn't what happened in Morocco, right? Going through it, boy. So you had all this red iron oxide dust, right? Because it's kind of like uh, marking uh, the zone of a territory to where judgment is going to be taking place. Same thing that happened in New York City. Same thing that happened in Turkey. You had this red iron oxide dust that took place right before calamity started to ensue. Right? That's Libya. Look at the red stone. You already know what this means. Look at the water coming out of the river. Like this, like this. What amazing times you live in, baby. Y'all see that? Well, this is Libya, y'all. Libya. So it's not a coincidence. So it's not a coincidence that all these is Islamic countries that have a propagation for Muhammadism, like I said, this is all connected to uh the veneration of Baphomet. Like I said, Morocco was on the 35th parallel. Three and five equates to Baphomet. Three and three plus five equals eight, the infinity symbol. You're trapped in an artificial time analysis mechanism. You're trapped in a time loop that's subjected to the subatomic particles of the cube of Saturn, the veneration of the monotheistic religions that's connected to that energy. Because the religion in itself is what took you away from your sovereign capacity. That's why the planet is in judgment. Imagine. This is balancing, baby. This is why you're seeing all this calamity. Right? All the earthquakes. Right? Because I told you, you got the black sun inside the planet, which is a supersonic energy. It is basically the battery of planet Earth. So when that intrinsic solar radiation coming from the magnetosphere streaming down from the star Polaris, what is, what's happening is it's like, what planet Earth is basically doing right now, it's like it's going off with an alarm clock. It's kind of like when you got to, you forgot to get up for work and you just pop right back up. Like, oh, shoot, I got to get up and get ready for work. That's exactly what planet Earth is doing right now. It's just waking up, you know, at a uh, at a more of an alert level. You know what I'm saying? So this is why you're seeing many different calamities, volcanoes, uh, the shifting of land masses. This is all based upon judgment. 
that's connected to the cosmic pendulum. Night, when most people were asleep, there was no warning. And it was absolutely horrific in its power. This is a moment of 6.8 magnitude earthquake, Rock Morocco. You can see people fleeing into an alley only for debris to then start tumbling down. The quake was centered here, just south of the popular tourist destination of Marrakesh. The death toll already stands at over 2,000 people. And as we get new images in of the destruction, it's clear that number is only going to rise. Now, it is a race against time to save those trapped in the buildings. Matter of fact, I just had a download. Go back. I'm going to go back for a second. Notice the death toll. Look what it says, 2012. So it's not a coincidence that you know that you're in the time of, you know, just like the movie 2012, you had all this calamity, right? Because I told you 2023 to 2030 is your seven-year tribulation period to where you're going to see an activation of everything on the planet, whether it's man-made or is being engineered by nature. And, people. and as we get new images in of the destruction, it's clear that number is only going to rise. Now it is a race against time to save those trapped in the buildings and try to get to the hardest hit areas that are cut off from the rest of the country. Many, including American tourists, now sleeping outside, fearing more aftershocks. The State Department late today confirming some Americans were injured. We have two reports tonight, beginning with Matt Bradley. Security thing, it happened late All at night. These, all these Islamic countries is going, facing judgment. And it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time before America gets its judgment. You know what I'm saying? We next in line. Because I told you, everything is going through an extrapolation process. Right? Because the religion in itself, when you're talking about the Black Amors, they're the ones who gave the edification to the Knights of Templars. When they came over here, you know, the missionaries, they started projecting religion on us and took it out of our landmass. All this is basically esoterically connected to uh, the Freemasonic religions, Christianity, Catholicism, right? Islamism. All this stuff is connected, right? So this is why a lot of the Islamic countries is facing judgment because the black Moors of Morocco, the uh, the Turkish Moors, like I said, they the ones who gave the edification to the Knights of Templars, right? That's why the Knights of Templars had a ven veneration for Baphomet because they got the term Baphomet from Baphomet, which comes from Mohammedism. This is all judgment, right? All this is judgment. A powerful earthquake shook Morocco, killing more than a thousand people, destroying buildings, and setting off a scramble to rescue those trapped under the debris. The magnitude 6.8 quake struck less than 50 miles from the ancient city of Marrakesh, a popular tourist destination. The room started shaking. There's no other way. We was going backwards and forwards and everything started moving and pictures started moving. And so we've every, we just grabbed, uh, grabbed some clothes and our bags and we race out along with the collapsed buildings a historic mosque was damaged but marrakesh now, escaped the worst of now in marrakesh like i said you got <clears throat> all these historical landmarks all these historical uh monolithic structures that's connected to their uh forms of monotheistic religion these are basically on certain energy points on the planet which are interstellar vortex portals right so this is why they subjugate that energy to keep away um, the energy that's coming from outside of the dome, right? So they subjugate that energy. So this is why all these monolithic structures are basically getting destroyed because when you have these monolithic structures, they are basically blocking the energy that's supposed to be coming from the magnetosphere, right? So nature has to dematerialize everything that subjugates the energy for us to connect back to our spiritual body, right? So when you see monolithic structures like this, uh, basically uh, in a form of destruction, all these churches, you know what I'm saying, starting to dematerialize in a form of destruction, all this calamity, all these buildings that's connected to the grid system, it has to come down, right? Because it basically is the glue of the fermented dome, the electrical energy. Mm -hmm.
Rural areas that are difficult to access suffered the most severe damage, officials said. Tremors were felt across the country and as far away as Portugal. Officials said the timing of the quake, which hit at 11.11 p.m. when most people were home, also made things worse. Video showed residents and tourists clearing restaurants and spilling out onto the streets shortly after the quake. <laughs> All right, y'all know the drill. Get your ass in here and sit. Like I said, you see the red iron oxide dust, right? Right before the calamity took place, right? So it's like I said, that is a form of judgment. Same thing that happened in Turkey, same thing that happened in New York City, right? So it's not a coincidence, like I said, all you know, monotheistic relig monotheistic religions have a veneration and uh connected to the Freemasonic order. That's why when you join Freemasonry, you can be whatever religion you want to be because it's all connected. It's the same thing, it's still a veneration of the false god in the false light, right? And the reason I'm basically giving you that information is because uh Freemasons, when they built the great majority of these monolithic structures, these churches, certain buildings is on certain ley lines and the ley lines is connected to the grid system. So when you have these earthquakes, right? When you have the the destruction of the, all these structures, that is basically uh, the energy that's coming from the magnetosphere, basically destroying everything so we can get these energies and to uh, get back right back, you know, get right back into alignment, right? <clears throat> So spiritual equilibrium is connected to everything that's taking place on the planet right now, right? So now it tells you right here verbatim, volcanoes re erupt because I told you the volcanoes are basically the pimples of planet Earth and the time of judgment will be announced, right? And it's being announced by the projection and the signs that you see in the cosmos. Nature will be agitated and moved. Because I told you that Earth is a living organism. It's a living entity, right? So everything that you're seeing right now, I told you it's not a coincidence when you have a magnitude. Magnitude is equivalent to the magnetosphere. The magnetosphere is the fifth dimension, which is the abode of the most high. So the God frequency gamma radiation coming down to the planet is basically copulating with the four horsemen, which is Earth, Wind, Water, Fire, right? Earth, wind, water, fire, when it's copulating with the seven elemental compounds of the noble gases of ethereal energy, that sparks destruction, sparks uh, destruction, creation, and uh, balancement. This is what you're seeing that, that's taking place, basically. So now, since we're in tribulation time, Hold on for a second. Now, when you understand the se the seven spirits of God, the dispersion of energy, right? So when you understand uh, the contextual uh, principles of everything that's being propagated all through our religion, uh, when you're talking about the return of Christ, it doesn't say nothing about the return of Jesus. The return of Christ is the return of the Christos, right? The return of the ethereal energy because the Christ body is in alignment to the seven energy cortexes with the chakras. So when your chakra system is in alignment, that it means that the ethereal energy that's coming from the magnetosphere is copulating with that ethereal energy. And that ethereal energy uh, activates the neuroendocrine transducer, right? Which is where you have the crown of thorns, the magnetizing the gingerites around uh, the brain, right? What happens is it operates on fractions of light and that fractions of light, which you see on the side right here, copulating with the body of Christ, you, the carbonated man and woman, right? Six electrons, six protons, six neutrons. That puts, you know, those fractions of light uh, is operated on a form of a cymatic frequency, right? So when you operate the white light, right? The Christ energy, the Christos, that's when you become operating from a place where you uh, connect to your higher self, which is your over self, your over soul, which is the epi uh, the epikinetic body, the eco body, the electromagnetic body, the gematria body, and the foundation in the middle is the Zohar body, 
the Zohar body is the gamma radiation uh, type of body, right? The gamma radiation to where you receive an influx of Ethereum energy. So it tells you right here, the book of knowledge, the keys of Enoch, the cosmic vibration connects higher I am with human I am through the five vehicles of the light body, the electromagnetic body, the epikinetic body, the Ika body, the inner of the Gematria body and the outer body of the Zohar. Like I said, the Zohar body is basically the foundation of the tetrahedron body that contains a a uh, a centripetal force. And that centripetal force is the Ethereum energy. When you're talking about the Sufi order of the sons of green light and all five of these bodies is drawn up through the crown chakra, right? Which is basically your eter eternal light. Your eternal light is the spiritual of Me the spirit of Melchizedek. Right, which is Tahuti, Thoth, Hermes, same person. Righteous mind exit the physical dimension and one and two, the spiritual bodies connected with the overself. So when the planet is going through these uh calamities, you gotta connect back to the oversoul. So you ain't got time to be, you know what I'm saying, getting uh one cent and fifty cent cheeseburgers, right? This is all of a form of psychological and biochemical. Warfare. This is asymmetrical, biochemical, and psychological warfare that's taking place. When you have Wendy selling junior uh, bacon cheeseburgers for one cent, when you have McDonald's selling burgers for 50 cents. So this is a psychological operation because they know these new energies is coming in, right? Because these the meat that they put in out to the public is basically a form of, like I said in my last video, the zombie apocalypse, right? So you got the burger joint. But the zombie apocalypse started out due to the fact that uh, people started in, eating these burgers. So, like I said, you got to operate from a place of animism. You got to deviate. You got to connect with your oversoul. You got to get back to the spiritual body to where you subjugate the physical body because your physical body is connected to everything in the physical world, physical world, such as materialism, food, things of that nature. So you can't be subjected to that energy no more because when you have these ethereal energies, copulating with the third dimension what's going to happen is it's going to throw you out of alignment right because i told you the zombification process is basically the dematerialization dematerialization of the frontal lobes of the brain that's connected to um the thymus uh the thymus gland the thyroid gland and the hypothalamus gland that puts the endocrine system in alignment which is connected to the seven energy cortexes so when you have uh stuff like that going on you know uh biochemical warfare like i said when you understand uh the magnitude and the uh the mechanisms of everything that's being propagated by uh westernized uh science and uh westernized uh these so-called doctors right when you got that you know these draconian those draconian shots it has a form of nanotechnology so they put in that same nanotech, they put in that same nanotech inside these foods, right? Because I told you the Ethereum energy doesn't uh, work in synergy with nanotechnology, right? It would basically cause a negative influx of energy all throughout the body to where zombification would actually take place. So it's not a coincidence that, you know, all this stuff is starting to take place on uh, September 28th, no, September 18th is when they putting out these burgers for one cent and 50 cent at McDonald's and Wendy's because it's supposed to be National Cheeseburger Day, right? So I counted back <clears throat> 28 days from September 18th, and it's basically around the time when you're going to have the solar, uh, the solar eclipse on October 14th. It's going to be one day or two days out because I told you a uh, a solar eclipse is the return of the ancestral energy right and the ancestral energy it stays on the planet for at least seven days so that same energy is not a coincidence that when you look at this poster of the movie 28 days later which is basically a, a movie about a zombie apocalypse it's not a coincidence that you see the eye it looks just like an emulation of a solar eclipse see what i'm saying so when you understand the esoteric aspects of the arts the esoteric aspects of everything that's connected to uh, the sigil system, the sigil system in itself, because I told you a solar eclipse and a lunar eclipse 
are basically projections of the optical nerve that's copulating with the photonic energy, the false light of the sun and the moon. So that's why when you look at the sigil system right here, it's an emulation of the sigil of Lucifer, the false light, everything that's connected to the third dimension. Now, this is why they're telling you about green comets. It tells you that a rare uh, green comet, but when you understand everything outside the concept of westernized astronomy, comets are not green. I need you to understand that. Because the green ethereum energy, this is coming from outside of the fermented dome, right? This green ethereum energy is coming outside of the dome because it's being projected by the star Polaris. So that's why you got to watch this movie called Meteor Man, right? Like I said, meteors are not green. Ether is, you know, is not a form of a comet. So when you look at this uh, movie right here, it shows you that when he basically um, embarked this uh, this meteor, it basically copulated with the carbonated energy of his uh, neuromelanated body to where he was able to activate everything, his spirit body. He was connected to his overself because that's why these new energies is coming in. So this is why they want you to get out, you know, get these one cent, 50 cent cheeseburgers because they know that these energies is coming in. This ain't no comet. This is Ethereum energy. The Ethereum energy is the spirit of Melchizedek to where you connect right back to the Christ body, right? As I was saying at the top, at the beginning, to where you connect right back to the Christ body. The Christ body operates on fractions of cymatic frequencies of light which is why you see the rainbow because it's connected to the seven energy cortexes because uh, your uh, cerebral spinal system is connected to your nervous system and your nervous system is connected to your morphic field and your morphic field is connected to your energetic auric field and your auric field is connected to your overself and your overself is the epikinetic, the gematria, the electromagnetic, Ica, and Zohar body that operates on gamma radiation, the tetrahedron energy, the unification process of the mental and spiritual and the physical body to where you uh, be in alignment with your seven energy cortexes. That is your Christ body. That's what it's talking about. So they putting out these burgers to throw off the endocrine system, right? They putting out, cause like I said, when the endocrine system is out of alignment, it creates zombification, like I said in my last video. So when you have these influx of energies, the return of the ancestral energy, the solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse, when your body is not working in synergy with that type of energy, it can throw you off alignment. So that's what's taking place, right? So like, like I said, ether, right? The ethereal energy populating with the seven noble gases. So that's why ether is the foundation of alignment to where you activate the spirit of Melchizedek. You got to get this publication right here, uh, the ancient order, the ancient and the mystic order of Melchizedek. Melchizedek, Tehuti, Thoth, Hermes, they're basically one and the same because Tehuti, Thoth, Melchizedek is the true Lord of your so-called Bible, right? So it's not a coincidence. Like I said, your cerebral spinal system works on particles of ethereal energy that has a electromagnetic wavelength. Those particles of ethereal energy is connected to the Sufi order of the sons of green light. That green light, the electrical field. When you got that green ethereal energy around you, that tells you that you're connected to your Christ body, right? That's what it's talking about. So this is why they want you to eat those cheeseburgers and things of that nature, because that energy in itself is coming from the magnetosphere, right? That so-called comet that they're talking about is coming from outer space, outside of the dome, that's connected to the star Polaris, which is your real sun, your spiritual sun, that gives fractions of light to the sun inside the quarantine zone of the fermented dome that we're living in, right? We're going to get into that. So like I said, the magnetosphere, that's where these energies is coming in. That ain't no comet. That's green ethereal energy coming from the star polaris outside the magnetosphere, which is the fifth dimension. So like I said, you have to look beyond westernized astronomy. Stop using, listening to these sciences, these so-called sciences, these so-called astronomers. Oh. 
Wow, I don't know what the hell that was. So now, what we got taking place, we're going to show you some videos for a second. Like I said, everything, these energies that's coming in, everything that's, you know, this energy is being transmitted from the cosmos, right? So you got all these energies coming in. So it's not coincidence that oh, you see the signs of the times in the skies. Like I said, this is all connected to uh, divine intervention and divine prophecy. Look at that, Jerry. Look at that, Harry. See, it's falling from the sky like it came out of space. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? It dropped. See, now you got UFOs, you know what I'm saying? Those are UFOs coming from outside the dome. So now you got, you know, jets and stuff trying to, you know, you got the jets trying to, you know, find out what's going on, right? So this is why they're giving us the reality of full disclosure. Because they know that when the dome cracks open, around June 26, 2030, right? That is going to be the convergence point of when the dome fully is cracked open, right? To where you start to have the energy of the smorgasbord is going to be taking place, right? So this is where you're going to have your uh, people who are in alignment. When I was talking about connecting back to the spiritual body had deviated from animism that activated the Christ body, the Christ consciousness, right? These are your 144,000. So when that dome cracks open, that's when all hell is really going to be taking place. It's going to really break loose. So this is, this is why they're trying to give you full disclosure. Whether this is a psychological operation, if this is fake or whatever, they still got to put it to the forefront. They giving you the reality. They try to give us the reality, even if it's fake or not, because they know that something real is coming to this planet. Right? I'm going to play the video. Vamos a presentar dos seres que fueron recuperados en Perú en una mina de diatomea. Son cuerpos desecados encontrados entre las ciudades de Palpa y de Nazca en 2017, que han sido investigados profundamente, tanto por investigadores, periodistas, como por científicos, que hoy aquí van a dar a conocer algunas de sus extraordinarias conclusiones. Quiero llamar en primer lugar al investigador Joyce Mantilla, que ha investigado este tema desde el primer momento. ¿Ya se descubrieron? Vamos a descubrir en este momento esos cuerpos que de acuerdo a los científicos que van a declararlo aquí, son seres no humanos, que no son parte de nuestra evolución terrestre y que vamos a desaparecer. No hay una evolution posterior full disclosure ladies and gentlemen full disclosure like i said whether this is uh <clears throat> you know a psychological operation whether this is fake but like i said they got to give you the truth because they know something real is coming here right but like I said, you got to look at stuff like this with discernment. You got to use your spiritual eye. De acuerdo a la Universidad Nacional Autónoma de México, quien realizó los análisis de carbono 14, estos seres tienen alrededor de mil años de antigüedad. Es decir, 
No se trata de seres que fueron recuperados en aves, que son estrellamientos, sino son seres que estaban sepultados en minas de diatomea, tierra de diatomea. La diatomea es un alga fosilizada con 17 millones de antigüedad, es fitoplancton que abundaba en aquel tiempo y al desaparecer, de desaparecer, no hay. So this is why you have alien bodies with three fingers, three finger hands, unknown DNA and eggs inside and presented by the UFO expert Mexican in the Mexican Congress. Researchers made an extraordinary claim that the corpses presented in the window boxes supposedly recovered from Cusco, Peru. 30% of their genetic composition is unknown. So it's not a coincidence. They got it looking like E.T. And it's also telling you that the carbon dated in the National Autonomous University of Mexico found bodies pictured with the three finger hands, no teeth, and a stereoscope vision were, were more than 1,000 years old. We're not alone in this vast universe. We should embrace this reality, just like the UFO expert said at the event. So he looked like E.T. Like I said, it could be, you know, claymation or whatever. But like I said, they got to give you the truth. Like I said, these entities exist for a reason, right? They exist for a reason. So it tells you right here that the Harvard astronomy department appeared in a video link called the Mexican government allowed the international scientists to further research specimens. So now it tells you right here verbatim, the researchers made an extraordinary claim that the corpses recovered from a mine in Cusco, Peru, have a genetic composition 30% uh, removed from that of human beings. So like I said, the great majority of these that are particular grades that work in a uh, symbiotic connection with Ashtar Command, right, which is basically, um, I forgot what they call them. Uh, it's not just Ashtar Command, but it's a, uh, They work on a trilateral connection. You got the draconian reptilians, then you got the zeta reticular grays, and then you also have um, uh, the pleiadian, the pleiadian sector of Ashtar Command. They they are the ones who operate certain things on the dark side of the moon. So this is why they come to this planet for exter uh, not not just extermination, but for ex experimentation, right? They come to this planet for experimentation. So it's not a coincidence that the great majority of the, uh, the people, when you're talking about trafficking and things of that nature, the great majority of it is connected to the cartel. The cartel uh, basically uh, copulate and work in synergy with the American government, right? So it's a form of sacrifice. So all this stuff is connected when you're talking about human abduction and things of that nature because they're giving them to these entities, Right. When you're talking about the deep state shadow government, which is why FEMA, they found uh, 250 bodies in Maui uh, when you had that uh, that calamity that, that basically took place in uh, Maui. Uh, it was 250 bodies that had um, it was 250 bodies that had bullet holes in them. Right. And all this is taking place because. We are in game. They're basically trying to speed up the process of everything that's taking place right now. That's why they're giving us the reality of full disclosure. Noon, the Secretary General and Klaus Schwab, the founder of the World Economic Forum, will sign will witness the signing of a memorandum of understanding on a strategic partnership between the UN and the World Economic Forum, which outlines areas of cooperation to deepen engagement between the two institutions and to jointly accelerate the implementation of the 2030 agenda. As a same class in the World Economic Forum are like signing agreements with the United Nations. Like who else does that? Well, I guess Kill Gates. Just go and sign. I need you to understand something. This video came out two days after I put dropped my last video about 2030. So like I said, uh, it's not a coincidence that 
everything that I've been saying is basically acting in divine alignment. Everything that's taking place. So I told you, FEMA, United Nations, BRICS, all this stuff is connected. I mean, like signing agreements with the United Nations. Like, who else does that? Well, I guess Kill Gates. Just go and sign agreements with them. Say, what's the agreement? Well, you know how we're going to like destroy everything and put everyone into a smart city concentration camps, make them eat buns by 2030? Well, the agreement is we're going to do it faster now because people are waking up. So we got to speed this up. It's not going to be 2030. Notice he's saying that everything is waking up because, like I said, ether, that green ethereum energy coming from the cosmos is causing destruction. And it's causing, also causing an influx of energy to where you have a uh, unity consciousness, right? That unity consciousness is the ethereal energy that I was telling you that basically connects you right back to your Christ body to where you deviate from everything in the third dimension because it's all based on illusions. So that's why everything, they got to speed up the events. This is why they want the one cent cheeseburgers, 50 cent cheeseburgers, right? They trying to, this is a testing process to see to, to basically see who's connected to the physical world. And for those who subject to them uh, to that energy, who are subjected to that energy, they are the ones who uh gonna reap the negative benefits of detriment that's gonna be taking place. Anymore. It's gonna be like 2025 or something, which actually right in line with Deagle. And their population forecast, where they pop, they they forecast the UK will be down almost eighty percent in population by twenty twenty five. The US will be down something like seventy percent. I think Canada is around sixty percent. Uh, Germany's down like eighty percent. They're really going after the Germans again. So, like I said, it's not a coincidence that Deagle put out that publication, right? Something's going to happen. I told you through the the seven year tribulation period. Something from 2023 to 2030, whether, you know what I'm saying, it's 2030, 2025, 2026 or whatever, something's gonna, something crazy is going to be taking place. So this is all connected to this video. Right? We really have an outage that is nationwide that lasts nine months. The EMP commission, they found that as many as 90% of Americans would die. 90% of Americans, that's what's 90% of 360 million people. That's yeah, so it's like 300, 300 million people get wiped off the map, just like that. And how, how long did you say that would take? Nine months, nine months. And what does it look like if our power grid goes down? So it really becomes almost zombie apocalypse. And it's as I've been telling you, just like in my last video, zombie apocalypse. It's not a coincidence that he said that. It's down. So it really becomes almost zombie apocalypse. And it's horrific because we think about loosening the rule of law. And so we have George Carr. So, like I said, this is not a form of, you know, to uh, engineer uh, fear. This is the reality. You know what I'm saying? It's either you face that reality and understand what's going on, you know what I'm saying? Because everything that's taking place right now, like I said, the planet is going out of quarantine. And it's going to be out of quarantine during the seven year, tribula uh, seven year tribulation period, right? So like I said, you got to connect back to the spiritual body. Why? Because this, I'm going to show you this video, because during that time period, when you having all that chaos and confusion on the planet, uh, you having you know, all this calamity, grid going down. This is why I said you got to get in alignment. You got to activate the spirit of Melchizedek. This is in South uh, Africa for what it looks like a person being projected in an intercellular vortex portal because the sun is that's inside the fermented dome that we're living in is basically a fraction in a cymatic frequency of light in a projection of the spiritual sun that's outside of the dome, Polaris. So this is a form of your so-called rapture. You see what I'm saying? So it's not a coincidence that stuff like that is taking place. That's why they got to speed up everything. You know, FEMA, the United Nations. You got stuff like this going on in the sky.
So you, as you're looking at it, you know what I'm saying? It basically levitated higher in the sky. Because when you look at the bottom right, that's the moon down. No, that's a light. But I don't know what that is in the sky. But the the girl in the video said it happened two nights in a row. Right? So this is why is it, all this stuff is happening? All this stuff must come to pass. Right? Because I need you to understand something. All this stuff is based on the activation of the star Polaris. That is the unification process of the spiritual body copulating with the physical body. You have to be in alignment to receive these energies coming from the star Polaris that's coming outside the sun. That is the spiritual sun. So it tells you right here uh, that the sun that's inside of our dome is basically the positive electrode. The moon is basically the negative cattle load. And the earth is basically the foundation of carbon that means that it, when everything is connected to the seven noble gases, that makes everything electric. The ethereal energy that's coming from the North Star Polaris, right? So that is what, so the sun and the moon that you see are basically projections of what's taking place outside of the dome because we've been quarantined. We've been quarantined uh, for the last 6,000 years or for the last 12,000 years or whatever when you're looking at the lunar cycles. So what you got right here, you got the 32 diameter sun, the 32 mile diameter uh, moon, right? So you got the moon phases caused by the black sun illumination that is activated by the star Polaris at the top, which is your all seeing eye. When you look at a dollar bill, that is what they're talking about. They're talking about the all seeing eye. That is the spiritual sun, right? So with that being said, as above, so below, you have the black sun inside the planet which is the stationary sun, the supersonic energy that controls everything on the atomic level when you're talking about the carbonated energy on planet Earth, right? So that's what causes, uh, so the star Polaris is uh, projecting these magnetospheres, these, uh, the projecting everything from the magnetosphere, this ethereal energy is activating the black sun and the black sun is what's causing all the calamity. Because I told you the black sun is the battery of planet Earth. So the sun and the moon that you see in our uh, in, uh, inside of the dome are basically our disc. It's a disc or whatever. And that disc <clears throat> operates on a torus field and a torsional energy of uh, a torus energy that operates on a cosmic energy of fractions of light, right? So it's like I said, the dome in itself, you are operating from a place of Luciferianism. Luciferianism is the foundation of the third dimension, meaning that it's the false light, right? And those refractions of light separates the cosmic energies of the sun and the moon to where you now are no, long, uh, no longer focused on the spiritual body because you're connected to material. So... Now, since we're talking about the black sun, the black sun, like I said, when you go to this book called Inner Earth by Dr. Doriel, it shows you uh, that the ancient wisdom says there are floats, a vast metallic sphere and black matter, carbon. It is composed of neutrons alone. Right. So the inner sun is basically a great sphere of separation from the inner earth of the part of Earth. So it's basically cutting you off from your light. It maxed the exact center of planet Earth. So that's why, you know, all throughout ancient context, they tell you about the positive pole of the sun, which is inside the planet. Because it's a projection of the spiritual sun that's outside of the dome. So I told you, when you have the four layers of earth, wind, water, fire before the ceiling, a.k.a. a wave of vibration, that wave of vibration is copulated with the ethereal energy which is the seven noble gases, uh, hydrogen, helium, uh, it was, no, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, hydrogen, helium, oxygen, exon, radon, argon, and krypton. When it's connected to that, it creates a electromagnetic coils of storehouses of energy, which is earth, wind, water, fire, the four horsemen of the apocalypse. So that's what it's talking about. All this stuff is connected to the fact that 
everything has to go back into its original state. So you now, when you look at the book of Enoch, the keys of Enoch, earth, wind, water, fire, the winds which turn the sky cause the disc. Because I told you right here, the sun is a disc, a disc that in all sets that a disc of the sun and all the stars to set. Earth, wind, water, fire, the winds, the clouds. I saw the end of earth and the fermented in the firmament of heaven above. Because I told you that around June 26, 2030, whether it happens before that, what happens is that dome is going to open up. The firmament is going to be cracked. Right? Because you've been cut off from your spiritual light. Because the moon and the sun that you see in our solar system, right, inside the dome is basically a buffer, right? It's basically an electromagnetic generator and a transducer. So it's basically a buffer zone before the spiritual sun infiltrates the fermented dome once the sky cracks open. So it tells you right here in the beginning, there was light, but no sun, no rain, the spiritual light coming through, astral winds permeated all of this cosmos. So the planets did not revolve around the axis, nor the sun, the sun. And everything grew from its energy and its source, the divine power. Right? So when all, when you see the fall of man came, there was a change. The fall of man is when the planet got knocked off its axis by 23 degrees. Because everything on the planet worked in a form of vibration of um, of an equilibrium energy, a balanced energy, my eye. Everything was balanced. So everything, this is why the great majority of people are not operating from a place of right knowledge because everything in Western in the Western world operates in a, pl a place of left brain thinking, right? So when you get back into right knowledge, you get back into the arts. You get back into the arts of the real uh, spiritual edification that puts you right back into the edification of your spiritual body as the planet is going through an ascension process. So when, the, when you had the fall of man, there was a change. That change was a source of energy that was cut off. You've been cut off from the spiritual sun, but you got the influx of energy. You got cracks inside the dome to where you still get that. You, some Sometimes in increments, you still get those uh, fractions of cymatic frequencies of light that's coming from the star Polaris outside of the dome. So holistically, you've been cut off from the spiritual sun. So that negation in itself is passed and uh, basically passed into the material world. The negation is only the realm of flesh, the material world, the physical world, right? The illusion, which is the third dimension. Isaiah 30, uh, chapter 30, 26, moreover, the light of the moon shall be passed as light of the sun. They basically wanted the same because I told you everything in the third dimension is basically one and the same, right? There's no such thing as equality in the third dimension. Because like I said, when you look at it from an aspect of truth and lies, somebody's truth could be the lie and somebody's lie could be the truth. So that's that's basically the same frequency as the sun and the moon. But the only thing that stands by itself is reality, right? Pos you know, truth and uh, you know, truth and lies, like I said, they work in synergy, but reality stands on its own. Because reality is a state of existence that can be manipulated. That's what the star Polaris is. That is your spiritual sun outside of the dome. The sun and the moon is your truth and lies. You see what I'm saying? So Isaiah chapter 30, 26, light of the moon shall be passed off as the light of the sun. So the seven times brighter than the moon and charging ionized particles. So it tells you right here, the thousand years, thousand years time of Aquarius, Thoth, Melchizedek, right? Who would basically put an end to the quarantine zone because it's all based on violation and affliction, right? To where you activate the spirit of Melchizedek. You activate the edification of the knowledge that you get from the spirit of Melchizedek. So this is talking about the children of Israel who was Lewis and Jacob. Now, it tells you that on earth you are in bondage. Why are you in bondage? Because you've been cut off from the spiritual uh, sun, which Polaris, which is the spiritual light inside of you. In order to get back to that Christ body, right, you have to work in symbiotic connection with the spiritual evolution of the planet, right? The planet is activating. You're supposed to be activating with the planet. So 
this tells you right here in the the secret uh edification in the esoteric principles of the emerald tablets it tells you that on earth as man in bondage locked up and closed bound to the third dimension inside of a dome which is basically the earth plane and each planet has a wave of vibration which is a electromagnetic energy that operates of coils of ethereal energy to where it permeates the lock the locking up and the enclosing surfaces to where it basically dematerializes everything in the third dimension which is based on third density which is a fixed position reality So this is why you're going to have the signs of the times. This is basically talking about the story of the blue star and the red star to China of what is to come, right? Which is basically a revitalization process of a new day, a new way of life, a new world that's basically coming. So this is where you see uh, the appearance of the twins begin during the period of the seven year tribulation because the red and the blue star is basically an emulation of the blue dragon and the red dragon, Democrat and Republican. You see what I'm saying? But like I said, the red star is based on the great purification. The blue star is basically the activation that's being projected from the supersonic energy that's coming from the star Polaris, which creates this Ethereum energy that activates the Christ body. So which would be the final opportunity to change our ways. You have to change your ways. You have to change your dietary system. That's what's taking place right now. So like I said, you know, all this, you know what I'm saying, everything that's being taken place on the uh, on the planet right now is, you know, uh, it's one of those things where we have to get back into the fact that and understand that, you know, the purpose of our generation is to reverse the polarity of the brainwashing that's being uh, facilitated by westernized civilizations. So like I said, the moon is a disc, the sun is a disc. But the real sun is outside of the dome. That's why a lot of people been saying that, well, the sun looks just like the moon. They got the same light. The, the sun looks uh, white one day and then on another day it's yellow. Because what you got to understand is that, you know, uh, the star Polaris, the spiritual sun is a uh, it's basically like the queen on the chessboard. So this is what we have the concept of uh, a fifth dimensional chess game. Because the star Polaris can penetrate the uh, penetrate the dome and it can leave the dome. So that's why sometimes when you see our sun, it looks just like an emulation of the moon. It looks silver. And then on some days you see the sun is golden. That is the spiritual sun, right? So it tells you the sun uh, gives off light until the time of Aquarius. Isaiah 30, 26, right? Moreover, the light of the moon. Oh, we already went through this. So that's why every all this stuff is starting to take place right now, right? Because I told you, physical destruction is facilitated by spiritual energy that's transmuted from the cosmos, the cosmos, outer space, the spiritual zone, the galactical zone, which is the magnetosphere, which is the fifth dimension. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I had to put this video out for clarity purposes. You know what I'm saying? Because <clears throat> as I said before, you know, the purpose of our generation is to put out the truth and to reverse engineer uh, the negative afflictions, uh, the lies, you know what I'm saying? That's being perpetuated all throughout your education system, all throughout, you know, uh, westernized media and things of that nature. So you have to get out, you know, you have to get out of these monotheistic religions. You have to get out of the uh, the concept of materialism because materialism in itself is what's going to keep you bound on this planet. So the green Ethereum energy, as I was talking about, operates on, uh, operates on particles of electromagnetic waves of energy to where you operate the spirit of Melchizedek. That is the awakening process because when you're talking about these coronal mass ejections, right, which is basically X solar flares, M class solar flares, these energies is coming from the magnetosphere and it's basically giving an activation to the black sun inside the planet, which is why you had that earthquake in Morocco. That black sun has a supersonic energy because it's connected to everything on the planet. Carbon. Carbon is the building block of all civilization. So what happens is these new energies that's coming in, 
you have to operate and work in symbiotic connection with that ethereal energy to where you activate the Christ body. You activate the Christ consciousness. But you can't be in a state of a Christ consciousness if you're stuck to the third density. You're stuck in everything that has a fixed position reality, a false illusion. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I hate. I hope this video gave you the clarification and uh, and the edification that you needed in order to you know go forward in the great awakening. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, end end of transmission.